Hi, my name is Arnold Castillo, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up SFTP on your Mac. This will be for a shared server. So before you can begin creating the keys that will allow you to use SFTP, you'll need to log into the cPanel. So here I'm logged into the cPanel. Now I'm going to scroll down to the section labeled SSH Access and click on that. In this section, You'll see that you can manage the SSH keys, and they describe how the public and private key work together. You will need to have both keys in order to log in to the server. When they're logged in, the keys are compared, and as long as they match, it will allow you to have a secure connection to the server. These keys are used for both SSH access and logging into SFTP. In this case, we're using these keys to log in to a shared server. So to start, go ahead and click on Manage SSH Keys. Here you see that there are no keys created at the moment. The options for managing the SSH keys include generating a new key and also importing a key. Note that the public key is the key that stays on the server, whereas the private key will be the one that you save to your Mac laptop or desktop. So go ahead and click on Generate a New Key. When the key field comes up, you'll see that there's a key name, key password, and then the key type and the key size. We're going to leave the bottom options, the key type and the key size alone, and then we're going to name the key at the top as my Mac key. So it's going to be ID RSA dash Mac. And then you have to give it a password, and we're just going to give it a simple password so we can demonstrate this. Notice you have to enter the password twice to confirm it. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and click on Generate Key. When the key generation is complete, you'll see a confirmation banner here saying Key Generation Complete. And then you'll click on Go Back to return to the SSH menu. Now when the key is initially created, you'll notice that it has an authorization status of Not Authorized. Now, these keys are created in pairs. You'll see that there's a public key and a private key. In order to use that key, you will need to authorize it. So you would click on Manage, and you would just simply click on Authorize. Once the key has been authorized, you'll see a confirmation, and you can return back to the SSH menu. And at this point, you're basically done with a key generation. That's basically the process for creating the key that you'll need to connect with SFTP. So the next step is to download the private key, since that's the key that will be saved on your workstation that is connecting to the server. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View, Download, and you'll see that the key is here. Notice that there are two options at the bottom where you can either download the key or convert the key to PPK format. I will be using the FileZilla FTP client to demonstrate this, and it has actually a built-in option to convert the key to the format that it requires. So you don't necessarily have to use the PPK converter here, but you can do that. And notice that in order to do that, you'll need to have the password that you created for the key a little while ago. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Download the Key, and I'm going to save it somewhere where I know where that particular file is located. Once you have downloaded the key, you're done with the interface on cPanel in order to create the keys for your SFTP connection. So the next part in using SFTP with your FTP client is to actually go into the client and set it up. So in this case I'm going into FileZilla and I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings section. And here you're going to go to SFTP under the connection area. Under SFTP you're going to want to add your key file and the key file will be the one that you had created in the cPanel. And when you have um, tried to add the file, you'll notice that FileZilla, in this case, would wants to convert the key file into a format that, that it can use. So when it asks you, would you like to convert it into a supported format, you would click on Yes. Here it's going to ask you to type in the password that was used to create the key. And then it's going to ask you to save that converted key. Once you've saved the key, you'll notice that it's been added 
to your FTP client. And now the next step is to set up your connection to the server. So click on OK. And now I'm going to use the Site Manager, which you can go to by clicking on File and then clicking on Site Manager. And here I'm going to add a new site. So I'm going to call this one my shared server. And you're going to type in the host name for the site. And the port number should be 2222. Note that the host name should be the server name where you created the key. Now the protocol should be SFTP. And then the logon type should be key file. The username is going to be the cPanel username for your account. So you're going to type in your cPanel username. And in the key file, you click on Browse and then locate the PP key file that you saved a little earlier. And then click on Open. And now you're ready to connect using SFTP. So click on Connect. You'll get a message saying unknown host key and it will tell you the, the service host key is unknown. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. However, if, you're, if you know you're using the correct server name for the server that you're trying to connect to with SFTP, then you should be able to trust that connection. It'll tell you here what host name that you're connecting to. And then you can click on either always trust this host or just click on OK to trust it on a case by case basis. Finally, before you can log in, you'll need to type in the password that you use to create the key once more. And then you can click on OK to connect. So here you can see that I've connected to the server successfully using SFTP. Note that when you're connecting to VPS or a dedicated server, you would be using the root user for that account in order to use SFTP. And that concludes our tutorial on connecting with a Mac to a shared server using SFTP. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. We'd also like to see a few comments from you so that we can know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.